One of the great features of business performance analytics is the ability to create reports in Excel and sync them back to BPA. This allows user to access and update report data in Excel as needed. The Excel add-in for BPA is particularly beneficial for organizations that prefer to analyze data in Excel and make informed business decisions. In this lesson, you will learn how to create a report in Excel using Dynamics Institute of Financial Operations with Business Performance Analytics. To create a report in Excel from Business Performance Analytics in the 65 Financial Operations, we need to click on New. Before we click on New, so if you see here, the file type is Power BI, but this report, Ledger Balance Company Wise Report, the file type is Excel. So that is the difference. If you are creating a report in BPA framework, that will be used as a Power BI framework. But if you are creating an Excel report, that will be part of your Excel add-in. So let's create it and click in New. If you are watching this video for the first time for the BPA series, I would request you to go back and check my previous videos where I have shown how to create a Power BI report in BPA. This, this video will be focused on the Excel. So I will click on Excel. I will give a name, Ledger Balance Report Excel. I will click Create and this will save the report here. Our report is created. I will click on this report. When you click on this report, it will not take you to the Power BI framework. Rather, it will download an Excel file in your system. And from there, you can create the report. If you are using this for the first time, you need to click on open. And this business performance Excel add-in will be updated in your system. It will take some time and it will be installed in your system. Click close. I will go to download and I will open this report. I will click on enable editing. It will take some time to set it up and it will be completed. I will click on OK. If you are opening for the first time, it will ask you for the password and ID. One that is done, this add in will be in the right hand side. It will be a pivot table fields. And if you notice, the above business performance analytics add on will be here in your Excel. This save option is to save the data back to the 65 finance and operation business performance analytics. Now I will create the report. It is very similar how you are creating a report in BPA framework. I have explained in my previous video what is matrix, what is fact table, what is dimension table and all. I will use a couple of fields to fill up this column row and value. Is exactly same concept how you create a report in BPA so for that to start with I will use filter in filter I can bring dimensions parameters as an example I can tag I can bring currency type in the filter this is exactly similar to to create a report in Excel but the difference is in Excel you are creating this report every time but this you need to create it for only one time and it will be updated on the sync happens with Dynamics 365 finance and operation. I have added currency type. I can bring decimal places in filter. I can bring format type in filter. And now I will bring columns and rows and values. For columns, I will use legal entities. For rows, I can bring first I can bring currency. Is updated in the left side and general ledger hierarchy. I can bring type, I can bring category description as well. Category description is nothing, it's just the main account category. Type is main account type, and I will bring the legal entity in column. And for the values, I will use general ledger from the matrix. From amount, I will bring the general ledger in the values as you can see my report is created now i will just close this one and to bring this pivot table fields once again you can just go to this pivot table analyze and click on field list it will come once again okay so now our report is ready if you see these two legal entities are coming in column the values are here 
and this asset liability is a main account type and this is a currency if i further click on this plus option it will read drill down to the next level which is main account category liability under liability you will get category accounts payable so where the values are there it will come these are the values which is coming if i just minimize this one you can further create a report from scratch like this you can bring column rows as per your requirement from here i can filter like currency type i can bring transaction reporting maybe i can click on reporting and based on that it will change so this is how you can create a report for next couple of videos i will create sub ledger reports like vendor aging and all now once it is done to save it back to sync with business performance analytics framework you can click on save saving will over a data and may lead to data loss do you want to continue and click ok this is saving back to bpa and once done your changes are saved you click ok it will be closed and if i open it once again it will open the same report so ideally if you close this if you open this tomorrow if the data is changed the data will be changed in your report as well so that is the beauty of this excel add in of business performance analytics you create a report you save it in your system you share it by share option people will see the changes when the data is changing or syncing in the 65 that's it for this video i will create more videos on excel report how to create other reports like sub ledger reports in bpa framework using this excel add in